Namaste everyone. Let's sit down in any seated comfortable posture with a straight spine. Eyes gently closed. Let's have focus on the breath for a few seconds. Now try to use your chest, making deep inhalation and exhaling the breath out. Inhale, expansion on the chest. Exhaling, releasing chest down. Let's bring palms on the chest. Inhale for Om chanting together. Om. Listen to the prayer. Asatoma Satkamaya. Tamasoma Jyotir Kamaya Mrityorma Amritam Kamaya Om Shanti 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 Set the intention for today's practice. Intention to let go of things in your life which does not serve you anymore. Right. Very slowly remove your arms behind the back. Interlock the fingers. Lift the chest up looking up. Try to move hands away from the hips. Exhale and we take a forward bend. Try to reach your arms up to ceiling. Inhale, opening the chest, looking up, moving arms away. Exhale, forehead to floor. Continue lifting arms. Inhaling, lifting the chest, shoulders roll back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhaling, lift the chest, looking up, continue lifting arms, exhale, forward bend. This time we want to stay here, continue rolling the shoulders back, continue stretching arms up, any discomfort on the elbow, you can have elbow softly bend. Inhale, come back to center. We are coming on all four, walking on, opening the spine and we are creating a gentle rounding using the entire spine. So check your wrist is in line with shoulder, start to move your chest forward, move it to right side, push chest back, curl your spine, look down and moving to left side. So imagine you are creating a circle with your entire upper body. As you move your chest back, try to round the back, squeeze the navel. And let's continue. That's our third round. Continue breathing. Move your chest forward as much as you can. Move it to side, rounding the back. One more time. Now we want to reverse the circle. So let's come back to center and we start from other way around. Focus on the spine as you create this rounding, a gentle arching 
and a circle with your entire spine. Make sure to squeeze the navel as you create rounding. Let's continue. Come back to center, round your upper back again, look down, keep squeezing navel, pushing hands on the floor. Tuck the toes this time and we lift hips off the floor. Stretching the spine, downward facing dog posture. Feel free to have knees softly bend if you are feeling tight. If your knees are straight, we want to tighten the kneecaps and try and move chest closer to thighs. Chin close to chest and we want to breathe through chest now. Expansion on the chest as you inhale and releasing chest down with exhalation. Few more breaths here. Conscious breathing. Right. Next time we exhale completely, we want to lift heels off the floor. Leaning forward, coming into a plank position. One more breath here. Exhale and lift the hips up. Pressing heels down. We'll do this few times. Inhale, coming on to plank. Squeeze the navel. Exhale, down dog. Pushing heels down. Inhaling, lift the heel. Roll it forward. Exhale, down dog. Heels down, knee straight. Forward. One more time. Plank. Exhale, down dog. One more time. We look forward this time. We start to walk legs forward. Hands on the hips. And slowly come back to center. Preparing for Shivananda sun salutation. Palms on the chest. Beginners can keep knees softly bent. Hips reaching forward. Chest back. And the regular practitioners will try to keep knees straight, looking up. Exhale a full forward bend. Nose close to knee. Again, you can have knees softly bent. Inhale, we stretch right leg back. Keep your chest lifted. Squeeze navel. Left foot back. Exhale, drop knee, chest, chin on the floor. The stomach will stay off the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up. Looking up only if your neck feels all right. Tuck the toes. Exhale, lift up to mountain. With the feet together. Inhale, right leg forward. Check knee is in line with ankle. Looking up. Exhale, left foot forward, nose to knee. Inhale and try and come up with a straight spine. You can keep the knees softly bent. Reaching back as far as you can. Exhale, palms to chest. That's half round. Inhaling, lift the chest. Feel free to keep knees bent softly, looking up. Exhale, forward bend. Going down straight spine, nose to knee. Inhaling, left foot back. Looking up. Squeeze navel and we take a plank. Try to lean little extra on the hands. Exhale, knee, chest, chin. Inhaling, lift the chest. Toes pointing back, knee straight. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up. Feet together. Inhale, left foot forward, checking back knee, stay straight. 
exhale right foot forward nose to knee inhaling backward pen looking up exhale palms to chest right, let's focus more on the breath this time inhale and we take a backward pen exhale forward pen nose to knee inhaling right leg back take a deep inhalation hold breath here and take a plank exhale drop knees chest chin on the floor inhaling bhujangasana lift the chest exhale parvatasana feet together hips up inhale right foot forward exhale left foot forward nose to knee inhaling backward pen exhale palms to chest inhaling lift the chest lifting arms up exhale forward pen nose to knee inhale left leg back this time holding breath plank exhale ashtanga namaskara inhaling lift the chest up bhujanga exhale parvatasana inhale left leg forward exhale feet together inhaling backward bend exhale palms to chest let's have one more round inhaling lift the chest up exhale forward bend squeeze the navel inhale right leg back holding breath plank exhale ashtanga namaskara inhale bhujangasana exhale parvatasana inhale right leg forward exhale left leg forward inhale backward bend exhale palms to chest inhale lift the chest if you can go a little more back exhale forward bend remember to squeeze the navel inhale left leg back holding breath plank exhale moving down inhale bhujangasana exhale parvatasana inhale left leg forward exhale right inhale backward bend exhale palms to chest let's take a samasthiti here keep your arms next to body and watch the practice for the balancing posture natarajasana check your left foot is nicely placed on the floor right hand on right ankle beginners can choose to stay here stretch left arm forward keep it in line with the shoulder keep looking at a point and you will start to lift right leg up as high as you can continue lifting the chest up to create arch and make sure you are breathing here your standing knee can stay softly bent all right ready so let's practice this together hands on the hips open up your left toes press it down fix your eyes at a point check the navel is tight push it inwards and hold the right ankle from outside okay stretch left arm in line with your shoulder if you are new to the posture you can just stay there and 
if you are up for it, you want to start lifting chest up and forward and continue lifting your right leg up as high as you can. Your right knee is pointing to back wall. Make sure your knee is not opening to right side. Otherwise, that will create a pressure on the lower back. Keeping that knee in line with the hip and continue creating arch. Next exhalation, releasing the posture. Alright, Natrajasana on the other side. Check right toes open up, we press it down. Check the navel. Hold left ankle with left hand from outside. Right arm reaching forward. Feel free to just stay there, that's absolutely fine. And if you are ready, Start to move left leg back. Make sure you are opening the chest at the same time. We don't want to create a forward folding with the chest here. We want to continue lifting chest and continue lifting left leg high. Take a moment and see how you are breathing here. Exhale and slowly release the posture. Right, let's come on to top of the mat again and we start with our vinyasa. Inhale, raise your arms up and take a backward bend. Try and go backwards as far as you can every time we get into that posture. Exhale, forward bend and we are stretching right leg back. This time we are holding the posture, so try and stay light on the fingertips. Keep pressing your right foot firmly on the floor. We want to use only legs to hold the posture. And continue opening the chest. Right. Next exhalation, press your palms and and we are taking plank, wrist, shoulder in one straight line. Very gently we want to lift the hip up so that we can squeeze the navel a little more. If you are okay here, you can try lifting small toes off the floor. Next exhalation, we are going down on the floor as slow as you can. First posture is Shalabhasana A. Move your arms back next to hips, palms facing ceiling. Feet together, point the toes back and we inhale, lift chest and legs off the floor. Back your shoes, we'll keep legs on the floor. Focus only on lifting chest and continue straightening spine here, continue breathing. Take one more breath here and we are shifting hands next to chest. Elbow as close as you can and continue lifting legs, chest up. Take a moment and see how you are breathing here. Exhale and release. Relaxing few seconds. We are preparing for half push up posture here. So walk your knees forward slightly. Keep your hands next to chest. Exhale and lift chest off the floor. Half away, elbow will stay close to chest. Dropping chest down, inhale and we lift the chest up with straight elbow looking up. Exhale, tuck the toes, take a push up posture and move all the way up to downward facing dog posture. You can come up in your own variation. You can also drop the knees down and just lift up simply in a down dog position. Next time we inhale, we are bringing 
right foot between the hands left foot will stay at 45 degree angle turn it slightly in left heel on the floor use your three fingers of right hand to hold right big toe exhale and start to raise your hip high straightening both the knee tighten the knee cap and try opening the chest up to ceiling left arm reaching up for trikonasana any knee condition can keep knee very softly bent and we are looking up to left thumb if your neck feels all right and let's focus on the breath here next exhalation left hand to hip bend right knee softly hands on the floor and bring both the legs forward nose close to knee take a full forward bend Inhale and start to look up, arms reaching forward, and we come up all the way up to backward bend. Exhale, palms to chest. Right, let's prepare for vinyasa on the left side. Inhale and we raise arms up, backward bend. Keep moving arms back as far as you can. Exhale, squeeze the navel, full forward bend. Inhaling, left leg reaching back. Check hands are light, keeping legs active. And try to move your chest away from your right thigh. Keeping back knee straight. One more breath here. Exhale to plank position. Staying on the big toes. If you feel okay here, we want to lift small toes off the floor. Keep leaning on the hands. Exhale and we go down slowly. Dropping the chest and legs on the floor. We are preparing for half Thanurasana. So keep left hand next to chest left leg is equally active point the left toes back hold right ankle with your right hand inhale and we start to lift chest and right leg off the floor you will balance your upper body using your left hand which is next to left side of your chest now, if you find that easy, we want to move left hand also on the right ankle and continue lifting chest and right leg off the floor. Check your left leg, your knee, ankle. Everything is active on the floor. Next exhalation. Release and relax a few seconds. Preparing for the left side now, shift your hands next to chest, check this time your right leg will stay active on the floor, pressing right ankle down, right hand next to chest, hold left ankle, inhale and start to lift up, continue breathing and check if you can move both your hands on the ankle and then we want to continue lifting if you can squeeze your navel into the spine it will help you open up the chest a little more checking the breath here exhale and slowly release turn face to one side your legs apart and relax.
and prepare for half push up again hands next to chest again walk your knees forward keep the toes tucked in exhale and lift the chest up half away make sure your elbows are not moving out to side wall keep it close to ribs squeezing navel will help you to hold drop the chest down inhale and we take a full cobra here straight elbow looking up legs are slightly wide exhale tuck the toes take a chaturanga and push up to downward facing dog posture again remember you can come up in your own variation feel free to drop the knees down and then you can lift up to down dog let's take one deep inhalation here and we prepare for trikonasana on the left side check your right foot is at 45 degree angle heel on the floor you both the heel should stay in one line so checking that keep your left knee bent to hold left big toe with three fingers and as we exhale we start to raise right hip up to ceiling both the knees are straight start to turn the chest up and if you are balanced enough we are raising right arm up to ceiling looking at right thumb if your neck feels all right breathing through chest exhaling right hand on right hip bend your left knee softly look down hands on the floor and bring right leg forward and take a full forward bend squeeze the navel and let's move head closer to leg just take a moment and see how that feels on your face inhale looking up and let's come up to backward bend hips forward arms reaching back exhale palms to chest take few deep breaths here next inhalation coming on to backward bend lift the chest lift your arms exhale forward bend nose to knee inhaling right leg back and we are holding it here check if you feel any difference on the right leg on the hip this time as we are repeating this posture palms down we take a plank now beginners will stay here and people who are ready will bring left knee to right elbow Make sure your left hand is in line with the shoulder. Press right foot flat on the floor. Squeeze navel and start to stretch left leg towards your side wall. And we are raising right arm up to ceiling. Continue lifting hip high. If you find this complicated, you can just choose to stay in a strong plank position. we drop hands on the floor bring knee to chest exhale and come into plank posture and slowly moving down chaturanga drop your chest and legs on the floor we are coming on to a full dhanurasana this time so hold ankle bring feet together big toe and heels touching each other inhale and we start to lift chest and legs off the floor beginners can choose to keep legs apart continue lifting chest keep your chin lifted discomfort on the neck can look down and start to breathe breathing through chest here 
We are coming on to Parshvadhanurasana. So exhale it out and turn your entire body to right side. Keep holding ankle and lift your head up again, creating stretch for the throat. Few breaths here. Make sure your neck is, your head is on the floor. Just lift the chin up. Keep holding ankle. Inhale and we come back to center. Take few breaths here. Relax your head down. Inhale and we start to lift up again. Exhale and roll over to your left side. Check your head is on the floor. We are just lifting the chin up to create a stretch on the throat. Continue lifting chest. Keep moving legs away from the body. Few breaths here. Inhale back to center and we want to lift up a little more higher this time. Looking up if you can. Exhale and release. Legs apart, turning face to one side and relax. Prepare for the next posture, half push up again. Hands next to chest. Walk your knees forward, toes tucked in. Exhale and lift chest off the floor. Squeeze the navel, that will keep the body strong. Moving chest down, inhale and open up the chest, look up. See if you can push the chest a little more back. Deep arch, tuck the toes, take a chaturanga. Exhale and push up to down dog. Let's take a few longer exhalations here. If you are tired here, you can drop the knees down and stay in child's pose for a few seconds. Let's bring right foot between the hands this time. Knee, ankle in one line. Your left foot is flat on the floor, 45 degree angle. Left hand will stay close to right foot. And let's raise right arm up to ceiling. It's a variation of Pariritta Pashra Konasana. Check your chest stays close to your right thigh. Squeeze your navel and continue opening the chest up. Looking up only if your neck feels alright. Exhale, hands down and let's bring left leg forward and we are taking a full forward bend again, holding ankles. Continue squeezing navel, moving entire upper body on the lower body and if you are okay here, we can keep eyes closed. Inhale, looking up and let's come up to backward bend. Trying to go back as far as you can. Exhale, palms to chest. Take a few breaths here before we move on to the next side. Right. Inhale and let's lift the chest, backward bend. Exhale, forward bend. Nose to knee. Inhaling, left leg back. And we are holding it here, strong legs. Fingers are light. Exhale, palms down and we take a plank position. Again, beginners can just stay here and if you found that previous posture complicated, you can just stay here if you are ready. Bring right knee to left elbow 
Bring your left foot, keep it flat on the floor. And we start to stretch right leg to left wall. And continue lifting your hip high. That will keep your arm relaxed. Squeeze the navel and we are staying here. Right, take one more breath. We are dropping hands down. Keep your knee on the chest. Exhale and come back to plank posture. And let's move down to floor as slow as you can. Those pointing back, inhale and we lift the chest up. Shoulders back, look up. Exhale, tuck the toes, chaturanga and we push up to downward facing dog posture. Dropping knees down for Ushtrasana. Keep knees slightly apart. You can have toes pointed or toes tucked in like this. For beginners, I will recommend to keep your toes tucked in. And we'll just work on the spine first. So keep your hands on lower back, elbow closer. Focus more on lifting the chest high. Lifting chest up and try to push it backward. Look forward if any discomfort. Else we want to try looking back. Now if you are ready here, we are dropping right hand on right heel. Continue lifting chest and left arm goes over your head. If your hands are not reaching on the leg, you can stick to the previous position, keeping hands on the hip. You can just focus on the back weight then. Shift left hand to right hip, turn chest to right side and slowly release the posture. Take a few deep breaths here and we do the same thing on the left side. Now, if you are okay here, we want to try pointing the toes back, ankle on the floor. And let's start to lift the chest up, looking up and slide your left hand on left heel, raising right arm over your head. Continue moving chest, arm and your head back, lifting the chest up. Remember, if you find this difficult, you can just do a backward bend with both the hands on the hip. Making sure you are breathing. Exhale, right hand to left hip, turn chest to left side. And slowly taking a child's pose. Relax the forehead. If you are feeling dizzy, that's absolutely normal with this posture. You can sit up straight with eyes open. Else we'll relax here. Few seconds. And we prepare for a full Ushtrasana now. So staying here on the knees, knees apart. Check if you want to keep toes tucked in or toes pointing back or even hands on the hips. Start to lift the chest up, looking up. And one by one we are sliding both the hands on heel. Continue opening the chest up. Just focus on lifting chest more rather than pushing hips forward. We want to create a tall camel here. Looking back, creating stretch on the throat as well. Keep checking you are breathing. One more breath here. Exhale, bring left hand to right hip, turn chest to right side. Slowly 
Come back to child's pose again. Relax. Right, we are preparing for half push up again. So come on all four. Exhale and move your chest closer to floor, but we don't want to touch the floor. Elbow closer. Exhale, drop the chest down, inhale and we lift up. Straight elbow, open up the chest, look back. Exhale, Chaturanga and push up to down dog. Take a deep inhalation here. Exhale through mouth. One more breath here and we are bringing left foot between the hands. Check your right foot is at 45 degree angle. Front knee is in line with your front ankle. Creating a twist again. Check your right hand stays close to left foot. Chest close to left thigh. And let's continue opening chest to side wall and up to ceiling. Your back foot is equally strong. Breathing through chest. Next exhalation, hands down. And bring both the legs forward. Hands on ankle. Exhale for full forward bend. Nose close to knee. Continue lifting your hips high. Head going close to floor. Inhaling. Looking up. And let's come up for backward bend. Arms reaching. Opening the chest. Exhale. Palms to chest. Preparing for the last vinyasa, inhale, arms reaching up, look up, straight spine, exhale, forward bend, nose to knee, squeeze navel and we look up, straighten that upper back, exhale, walk your legs back and we lower down to floor, chaturanga or drop knee, chest, chin on the floor. Inhaling, lift the chest up, straight elbow. Exhale, downward facing dog. We drop the knees down on the floor. Hands on the hips. And stretch right leg to right wall. Check your right ankle is in line with the left knee. Right toes are turned in. Lock that right foot. Arms open. Exhale and start to lean to right ankle with both your arms. Left arm stays over your head. Checking chest, we want to open up instead of sinking it down. Parikhasana, closing the gate posture. If you are okay here, we close the eyes and focus on the breath. Exhale, coming back to center. Let me show you posture from the front side. So stretch left leg out this time. Left ankle in line with the knee. Your right toes will stay tucked in. Arms open. Exhale and let's start to reach to left ankle with both the arms. Making sure your left toes are turned in so that we don't open up that leg too much. Focuses on creating stretch for upper body. It's closed. And let's breathe through chest.
So take one more breath. Exhale and release. So let's drop the knees down and we want to sit down on the floor. Stretching legs forward. Preparing for a Go Mukhasana. So let's have left knee bend. Point the left toes towards your screen. Right knee on top. Bring heels close to hips. Holding ankle. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale and we start to move chin forward. Check how far you can move. Half away is also a good start. Make sure you push the navel in to support the lower back. And if you have dropped the chin down, you want to stretch the arms forward. Arms forward, keep the spine straight and we bend the elbows softly, relaxing the shoulder. Focusing here on relaxed breathing. We want to stay here for about 50 seconds. So make sure you are comfortable here and focus on relaxed breathing. We take one more breath, exhale and slowly coming back to center, straighten the legs. I will show you posture from the side now. We are keeping right knee down, right knee is pointing forward, left knee on top, squeezing the thighs and check both the heels are close to hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, squeeze navel and start to move chin forward. And only if you are comfortable here, we are stretching arms forward. Keeping elbows softly bent, relaxing the upper body. You should mostly get the stretch on your left hip. If you are getting that stretch, you are doing the posture correctly. Eyes closed and we spend some time here. We take one more breath here. Exhale and slowly come back to center. Legs are straight and we lie down on the back. Just check if you need to adjust your neck. Keeping the neck relaxed. And bring both the knees on the chest. We want to create a circle with both the knees. So let's have hands on the floor. Keep your toes pointed and start to move both the knees to side wall, front and back, as if we are creating a circle. Five times clockwise and five times anti-clockwise. So let's continue.
Right. We come back to center for Ananda Balasana, holding the foot from inside. Separate your legs and try to push knee closer to armpit. And we just want to move hips side to side, massaging the lower back. Come back to center. We are staying here. Few breaths, making sure the lower back is on the floor. Elbows softly bend and try to move knees down comfortably. Few breaths here. Right. Exhale, drop the feet on the floor. Feet on edge of the mat and we are dropping both the knees to right side. Arms are open in line with the shoulder and turning face to left side. A gentle twist on the lower back. Again we are spending few seconds here. Inhale, knee back to center. Exhale, knee to left side. Checking feet are still apart. Turning face to right side. Eyes gently closed. Let's bring knee back to center. We are keeping feet apart and knees together just to press the lower back a little more on the floor and slowly straighten the legs. Preparing to settle down in Shavasana. See if you want to give a stretch to your ankle. Make sure to practice Shavasana with a still body for 5 minutes. I shall see you in the next video. Take care.